Today, I'm going to tell you about a new resource that I've added to my full-time RV life camping arsenal. It's called Hip Camp, and I'm going to show you how it works and two recent trips I took using it. Happy Sunday, bird watchers! It's Robin with Creativity RV, and if you follow my channel, you know that I travel full-time in my RV, and usually I like to boondock, and sometimes I stay in campgrounds, and sometimes I use Harvest Host, because when you're on the road full-time, you really need to have a lot of resources and a lot of backup resources to be on the road all year long. And to my arsenal, I've added Hip Camp. If you haven't heard of Hip Camp, to me, it's like Airbnb for RVers. Basically, anybody that owns land can be a host and invite tent campers or RVers to come and stay on their property. Sometimes that's dry camping or boondocking. Sometimes they have more amenities and hookups. And sometimes on Hip Camp, you'll find people that also have cabins or yurts to rent. I'm going to show you two trips that I recently took using Hip Camp and then I'm gonna tell you all about how it works and how much it costs. You guys know that I took a break last fall after I got COVID and I was a little bit run down. You might wonder where I went during that time. Well, I was in Colorado and I just did not have the energy to hook up and unhook and find places and didn't wanna stay in an RV park. So I looked at Hip Camp and on Hip Camp, I found this big wide open piece of land really close to where I already was. It was like five miles away. It was $15 a night and it was just off of a dirt road and it was a big spot. There was no house there. There was no people there, just the way I like it. It was just a person's land who rented it to me basically for $15 a night. What is it, big boy? What is that? There's some big ones. Yep. You can see here that most of the time I was surrounded by cows, which the big boy loved. He looked out the window all day and we just enjoyed the sunsets. With Hip Camp, a lot of the hosts let you invite other people to come stay with you. So I did that. I had a couple of other friends come and stay with me for a few days while they were coming through my area, but it was easy. I went onto the Hip Camp site or the Hip Camp app and I instantly booked this. I just went into the calendar, said that I wanted to stay for three weeks, basically. I think it was 20 days that I stayed there and I was able to recuperate without having to move. And recently, I was traveling with some friends through Texas. I'm gonna show you all of this really soon. But we really wanted to hit Marfa, Texas, and we were really having problems finding places to camp there. So we jumped on the Hip Camp app and we found that there was an RV kind of hotel there in Marfa called El Cosmico, which is so cool. Now they are not an RV park. You can't take your RV in there and hook up. They have these old vintage RVs and tiny houses and yurts that are so cool and you can stay there and a lot of people do that for um, music events and just visiting the place in the summer. That is not what we did through Hip Camp. El Cosmico let Hip Campers stay in their ginormous parking lot for $20 a night. So I think we stayed there two or three nights. There was a group of us and we were able to go and see Marfa, Texas, which is a must see if you haven't been there um, and really enjoy the area. Besides that, you know, we were looking on free camping apps and it was like, well, you can go and stay behind this grocery store and I've been pretty lucky and I didn't get the knock on my door. And that's what our options were there if we didn't have hip camp. That was the first time I realized that hip camp lets business owners also let RVers stay on their property, almost like a harvest host, which is very cool. So in terms of the cost, these trips were pretty cheap. When you're used to boondocking, I know a lot of people that boondock don't like to pay anything for camping, but 15 or 20 bucks a night for a secure spot that's on your route is pretty good. But when you go into the Hip Camp site, you're going to see a wide range of costs. I've seen things as low as $5, which is not common. And I mean, I've seen things in the hundreds because they're offering like luxury accommodations, not 
um, camping for RVers. Mostly for RVers, I'm finding it's somewhere between $15 and $35 a night, depending on the amenities. Take this one, for example. This looks like a great spot. It's only $15 a night because it's boondocking. Then take a look at this spot, which is an alpaca farm. They let RVers come and stay there. That one is $45 a night, I think, but that's because it has electric showers, water, and trash. So you're paying for what you get. Now, if you go into the Hip Camp site, it's really easy to search for places to go. You just put in where you're going and you're going to see so many great places just come up and come up and come up and come up. And these amazing pictures and lots of reviews from other users. And not only does Hip Camp show you the hosts on private land that they have, they also show you nearby camping, like in state parks and national parks and just regular campgrounds. And you can't book those through Hip Camp, but they tell you about them. And then they have a link so you can navigate over to recreation.gov or... Now, a lot of you might be wondering what's in it for the hosts. Or if you have land, you might be wondering if you can use it. And I tell you... Sometimes I think about getting a little plot of land for myself to stay on more frequently. But really, I think about getting a plot of land now so that I can hip camp it. Because when you look at some of the reservations, if you're in a good area, these people are booked and some of them have 5, 10 campers on their property if they have like 20 acres or something, right? And they get to keep 90% of the booking fee. Hip Camp takes 10% to pay for the platform and they also have insurance for the hosts, liability insurance. And there is a credit card processing fee of 3%, I believe, for the transaction. But that is really, really good. I mean, it's so easy for hosts to go in and sign up. They have to be verified and then they load up some pictures and that's it. They can be a host. And really quick, as a bonus, I'm going to tell you guys about a really cool gig for photographers through Hip Camp. And you might know that I wrote a book called Work From Home While You Roam, The Ultimate Guide to Jobs That Can Be Done From Anywhere. You can find it on Amazon. And there is a whole chapter in there for artists, you know, writers, photography, fine artists, musicians, all that kind of stuff. And I almost put this in the book, but it was just a little bit too finite. It wasn't broad enough for me to put in the book itself. But if you are r and -er and you are a photographer, Hip Camp now will pay you to go to certain sites, take pictures, and camp for free. So you have to apply. You have to show them a portfolio of your work. They're looking for high-quality actual photographers. Um, but I know a lot of you out there may not call yourself a professional photographer, but I've seen your images, and they're very cool. Look at this list of sites that you can go and camp for free and then get paid 75 to 100 bucks to take like 15 or 20 pictures and then load them up because Hip Camp really wants people to have a good experience when they search for the sites. So I'll put the link for Hip Camp down below and also for the photography gig. Now, I'm not an affiliate of Hip Camp, um, so I can't offer you any killer discounts, but I'm going to put a link down below that gives you 10 bucks off as if you were my friend, which you are. So you can use that and get 10 bucks off on your first trip and try it out. I have it now with everything else that I use and I could always go to a truck stop or a Walmart or a rest area, but a lot of the time I prefer hip camp. I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, tell your friends about it and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, have happy travels and be free.